Hey, what's up, guys? John here again. I'm flying solo again for the Forever Purge trailer reaction. Uh, so a movie franchise I'm not really familiar with. Um, I did hear about the TV series um, a while back, and, and I know the overall concept of it, and it did catch my eye. I just never got around to seeing it. So this is a brand new trailer. It is for the fifth and final film in the Purge franchise, um, and it's a direct sequel, apparently, to the 2016 uh, The Purge election year. So I'm not sure the events leading up to this. So I'm going to give it a go. A couple of people suggested I check it out. Um, so it was originally delayed from the original July 2020 date. And now we're going to get it July 2021. So about a year after it was supposed to originally come out, we're going to finally get this in in um, in theaters or maybe on digital or whatever. Who knows? Once the date comes closer, everything, you know, is is uh, is up for, up for grabs at that point. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm going to read the brief description in case you're like me and you're not familiar with this series. Um, and, and you just want to get caught up. So the description for the trailer reads, uh, following the presidential elections from the last year and the abolition of the purge, um, the Me a Mexican couple escaping from a drug cartel is stranded on a Texas ranch. There they will be at the mercy of a group of outsiders who plan to unlawfully continue their own purge and turn against the couple to eliminate them. So the general idea of the purge, and definitely in the comments, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I'll try and put maybe the definition of, of what purge, the, the, the concept of the purge is uh, in the YouTube description was the idea that I think no laws apply for a certain amount of time. And the idea was to purge uh, society or the world of, uh, of, of maybe, you know, survival of the fittest or something along those lines. Um, so I'll, I'll add that description and hopefully it'll become apparent in the trailer. So thank you for joining me on this solo run. I'm sorry, I didn't want to bother anyone to work and I wasn't sure um, if they'd be up for this. So let's let's give it a go. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to give it a go. The, the poster looks cool. It looks like it's got like a Western outlaw theme. Um, so let's let's rock and roll. Purge will conclude in three, two, one. Whew. Looks dark. Thank you for your participation. We survived. Like All running man vibe. And emergency services have been reinstated. All crime, including murder, is now illegal. Come on, let's get to work. One night only. The rest of the year is peaceful. Oh, Help me. Help me. Oh. The purge is over, please. No, it ain't. Oh. This is insane. Nobody hear the sirens? There's no crime anymore. Anything goes. You rich can't hide behind your steel walls no more. Powerless. Ooh. How's that feel? This is the real purge. The forever purge. Ooh. Come in! Come on! Follow me! There's nowhere safe to go. No way to get help. Oh my god. We gotta find another way to get out of here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This country's gonna collapse. Mexico was opening its borders for the next six hours. Let's go. We're in this together. Translate. All right, so um, that was the purge, uh, for the forever purge. So they did go over the definition of what the purge was, kind of in that in that little intro snippet. Um, the idea that no laws apply, um, and it looks like that has been gotten rid of as of the uh, last movie uh, election year. So, but these guys, these bandits, are, or whoever in this uh, Texas um, uh, city or whatever going nuts and i guess bringing it back so um it looks interesting to me i'm um, not usually my type of stuff horror um genre is not really my thing but it, it does look interesting enough that i, I might I'll definitely check it out if it pops up on streaming 
So I'm in, I am interested if you guys watch the whole Purge series. So this is, like I said, the, the fifth, fifth and final film. So I guess they're, they're not doing any more after this for some reason, or maybe they want to kind of add some gravitas to this one. And maybe, maybe things will change, you know, everything changes with this uh, pandemic. So maybe we'll see some more, but are, are you a fan of this franchise? Did you watch all five movies plus a television series that they did? Um, and, if you, if you did, uh, would you recommend to me, a new viewer, which which one would you recommend I watch? Should I watch the first one? Should I watch the entire TV series? Or should I just try this try this new one out that does look uh, scary as hell? <laughs> Looks like a lot of action going on. Um, so I'm, it's got like a little bit of a Walking Dead vibe uh, from what I saw. But um, I, I think it looks cool. I know a lot of people, um, some people are bashing it online, but there's a reason there's five of these films. You know, maybe they're not out to win Oscars. Maybe they're here to have some fun and and that and that fits the genre. Like uh, I don't, I can't remember how many uh, Friday the Thirteenth or Freddy Krueger movies I watched uh, in my younger days. Um, and if you're a fan of those, then you know that they're they're not all you know work works of art. Um, they're more for for fun and entertainment, sitting around with a bunch of your buddies and going woo. Um, so uh, definitely hit me up. Uh, so the Heroes World podcast new episodes every Sunday, uh, and the Sidekick Show we're live every Monday at eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. St- standard Time. If I could talk this morning. Um, so if you're interested in interacting with us live, um, me and my co-host Rob, uh, we'll be talking about John Wick this coming Monday. Uh, so if you're watching this as of uh, today, the recording, um, May 13th, we'll be talking John Wick on the Monday. Um, and then we're going to follow it by John Wick 2 and follow it with John Wick 3. And we've got a bunch of fun games planned. We're going to talk about who who got it the worst, who, which characters died the worst. And we're actually going to try and rank all the different assassins in in throughout the trilogy and see who our favorites are and who we think is the most with the most powerful obviously john wick's going to win hands down but we want to see where the other guys land um so thank you van for tuning in thank you for watching this trailer reaction um do you guys like this format as well um are you okay with me flying solo once in a while um i usually try to have a couple of more interesting people than myself uh in here to, to get their input as well um so thank you for watching this and i'll catch you guys on the next one